Yo, smoking politics with me with Giovanni. You heard best studio here, man. Come check it out. YouTube, 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 YouTube. What is up, man? It's your boy. I'm him, Giovanni. Um, this is an episode of a smoking politics with me vlogs, man. I haven't done one of these. It's a segment of smoking smoking politics with me vlog. I haven't done one of these in a long time. I know people out there like, dang, man, you got a lot of things going on under your smoking politics. Yes, I do. You know, um, I was gonna supposed to interview somebody on Nightcap. Um, but you know it didn't work out so you know i feel like i need to give you guys this and the reason why i'm not continuing nightcap right now is because um i was i thought i was going to be able to interview this person so i didn't have enough time i didn't you know plan on uh doing research and and finding topics to do the regular you know you know with with nightcap uh, either some nights i'll just interview somebody and some nights i'll just talk about either current events and mental health relationship and you know just just good good podcasting right so i didn't have enough time to to give the people what they deserve so i feel like i'm gonna just do a vlog and i'm gonna just speak you know what i'm saying so everybody grab your bongs your vapes your backwoods your swiss switch your peach optimals um your pre-rolls whatever is your pleasure man and come smoking politic with me man um i hope everybody out there is having a blessed sunday evening sunday night um and wherever you are in the world man i just hope you uh you're out there um striving to be a better person than you were the day before that's all you could do you know what i'm saying now you know um what i want to speak about is you know when people are in uh relationships you know um you know people that are let me see that are chasing success you know that are that are like excuse me people that are chasing success or whatever it don't no matter what it is you know what i mean you gotta and especially if you're in a relationship you know what i mean or just dealing with somebody in general you know what i'm saying you have to you know excuse me real quick you have to make sure that you do not let whoever you're with get in your way. And when I mean get in your way, I'm talking about a way of your success, a, a way of you, uh, in, in the way of you leveling up and, 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 and progressing. You know what I'm saying? For instance, you know, you know, my ex, you know, when I was back living in San Diego, you know, she would get in my way, you know? And what I mean by that, you know, her jealousy, her insecurity, she, you know, she messed up a lot of bags and opportunities for me because people would be like, you know, yeah, I would get uh, mentioned and stuff or, or requested to do things like, for instance, a commercial, you know what I mean? I was in San Diego, I was supposed to do this commercial. Who knows where that would have took me, but, the person I was with from the from a from a situation when those people that were doing the commercials, we was we was doing something else. And that one of those people that were there, they they seen how my ex was conducting herself. They seen how my ex made other women that were around me feel uncomfortable. There, excuse me. You, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So that right there, when they when my name got brought up to be in the commercial. The person that was there that remembered us said, no, he's cool and all, but his girl, she's, you know, so, and that, and that wasn't the first or the last time that had happened to me. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 it, and, it, and then when we moved to Vegas, that's when it was just overwhelming. Like it was just too much. She, she just, she basically alienated me from people to, from, from, and had people not want to work with me because of her jealousy and insecurity. Obviously, I'm not with her anymore. That was years ago. It's been like, what, six years going on seven. I think is this is the seventh year right now going on. But anyways, like, with that being said, the point I'm trying to make, fellas, ladies, if you're with somebody that's insecure 
and jealous, it's going to be hard for you to level up. It's going to be hard for you. Like, for instance, for example, you know, um, when I try to network with women that are that are in relationships, you know, I try to make it I from the jump. It's professional. I don't want nothing with you. You know what I'm saying? It's all professional over here. I'm not trying to get in your pants. And I some and if I if and if I'm able to speak to their significant other, I will let that person know. Like, yo, dude, <laughs> yeah, you know, I know how it be. People, you know, dudes are grimy. What are I whoop de whoop? But you don't gotta worry about me. If anything, you could always come and and be right there when I'm networking with your woman. You know what I'm saying? Still don't work. You know what I'm saying? The women always be like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna work, we're gonna work and network, and all of a sudden they end up pulling away. And nine times, and not all the time, it's it's somebody in their ear, but most of the time it's definitely somebody in their ear, either a bitter, weird fucking female that ain't about shit, or an insecure ass dude that they choose to lay down with every night. You know what I mean? It's just weird. You know what I'm saying? And I find myself always running into people, stuff like situations like that you know what i mean and, and it's crazy to me like i that right there i would never understand like so i always make sure and i make it an effort like yo when i'm networking especially with women because i'm not just gonna only network with men how do i look you know what i mean women are out there doing their thing too women are out there bosses too women are out there doing what us men can do and sometimes they they do it better than us Salute to the women out there that are really applying pressure, that are not out there on some weird shit. Salute to y'all. But it's like, I don't want to, I, I don't, I, I have zero tolerance for that. Like, you know, because I know what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to get in their pants. I'm really trying to network with them and build with them on a professional level, you know? And it always ends up like that, you know? And it's just, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Um, I would never get in the way of my shorty's dreams and ambitions. If anything, I'm her number one fucking cheerleader. I'm her number one fan as she's mine. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's supposed to be. I could sit here and interview all types of women. You know, as long as I act and move accordingly, she, my woman don't have a problem. Why? Because my woman is not insecure. My woman is not jealous. You know what I'm saying? She knows where the fuck she stands with me. You know what I'm saying? Just like I know where I stand with her. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? So it's like, uh, fellas, once again, ladies, once again, be careful of the partner you choose, especially if you are one of those people that refuse to live a regular content life and you want more and you're striving to be in that 1%. You're striving to get, earn and, and, and gain generational wealth. You better make sure the person you're laying down with every night is not an insecure, jealous individual because it's not going to work. The level you're at now, you're just going to stay there <laughs> and you'll probably fall off, too, because, you know, misery loves company. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of dudes out there that have a lot of that have that are with good women, good women that are freaking honorable, that are that, that are driven, that are that are destined to do great things. But they will they won't ever ever amount to shit because they got a ball and chain around their fucking ankle and shackles too to go with it probably a fucking uh uh a muzzle too you know what i mean you know the dogs <laughs> you know what i'm saying that shit is wild to me you know what i mean and and there's men and there's men out there and there's women out there that that are with good men and it's vice versa the, the man because i was one of those men like i just, just finished telling you guys i was one of those men you know what I mean? I, I was de de damn near in shackles. I couldn't do nothing because of the, the type of woman I was with. She was too jealous. She was too insecure. You know what I mean? She, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to shit on her, but it, I'm speaking facts. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You know what I mean? You know, and I'm not going to blame it all on her because of, of opportunities I missed, but she had a majority of the part to do with that. Big facts. You know what I'm saying? On top of me, you know, doing what I do, I, I get in my own way and whatever. But I, I got in my own way because, you know, yeah, <laughs> I was missing opportunities. Nobody wanted to be around me or work with me because I was with somebody that was insecure and that was just problematic. She was too problematic. You know what I mean, like nobody wanted to work with me. They would be like, yeah, hey, he's a good guy. Da -da -da -da. He's driven all that. But. 
the person he's with, she's going to create problems. Ladies, that's go for you too. Nobody's not going to want to work with you if you're with a fucking insecure ass dude that's going to make sure you're not, you're not going to be able to level up. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Ladies, look at your dude right now. And, 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 and really, really think hard. Is this man going to let me do what I need to do to level up? Or is he going to be in my way? Fellas, look at the woman you're with right now. And look at her and be like, is she going to get in my way? And prevent me from leveling up where I need to be at? Or is she going to play ball? <laughs> man, 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 man. Could never be me. Would never be me again. You know, I never done that, get in the way of anybody's dreams, let alone my woman. Are you crazy? <laughs> Shit, even if I didn't have no goals and ambition and my shorty doing what she does, I would just, hey, find my own lane and navigate through that and still do what I do now. Cheer her on. You know what I mean? I'm right there on the sidelines cheering her on. You know what I mean? When she needs a water break, I'm right there giving her that water. Rubbing her shoulders in her ear like, you got this, ma. Go out there, put up some more numbers on the board. Honey, honey, on the board. You know what I mean? That's what I do. That's me. It's my pleasure. <laughs> you know what I mean? This has been, you know, another episode of Smoking Pilot to Me Vlog. You know, I haven't done this in a while. You know what I mean? I got a lot of segments, you know, belt to ass, correa to culo, you know. I got Nightcap with friends every Sunday night and Wednesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, man. Apologize for tonight. Tonight's Sunday. April 7th, 2024, you know what I'm saying, um, yeah, but starting, but tune in this Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern, Nightcap with Friends, the best podcast at night, powered by Smoking Politic with me, man, don't miss it, the merch is definitely on the way, you'll be able to shop on my channel, you know what I'm saying, so, I ain't gonna take too much of your time no more, so, blessings to everybody, man, uh, remember to love yourself, first people so that way you don't let nobody play with you you know because you know we don't get to respawn you know when we go it's not a video game you know love yourself first too so that way you could love others accordingly and can't forget this this is the most important part besides loving yourself first separate yourself from those that don't deserve your energy and that includes family man i can't stress that enough your peace of mind is everything how you're going to be able to conduct yourself in society if your mind ain't at peace, you know what I'm saying? How are you going to be able to love anybody correctly if you don't love yourself first? You dig what I'm saying? Subscribe and hit that bell, man. Let me take one more hit for you guys, and I'll take another shot for you guys. Um, please subscribe. Hit the bell. Be in the comments. We can learn to disagree. Let's have a conversation. Ladies, have you have ever have been in that situation? What I've just been talking about? Fellas, tell us about your situation or if you're in one. Uh, we can learn to disagree in the comments, man. That's what we call balance in the world. I don't want everybody agreeing with me. The hell? I'm not a tyrant. If I'm wrong, if you feel like I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong and tell me why. Don't just be like, hey, you're wrong. Do, 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 do. No, elaborate some more. Let me know why. And tell me why that I'm wrong. You feel me? Anyways, man, much blessings to everybody, man. Subscribe and hit that bell. Peace. All the motherfucking shit that he has and all the shit that he does. Shout out to my brother. I'm him, Joe Bunny. I'm him, Joe Bunny. Please don't play with my brother. He's big Dominican, okay? He's big Dominican. Big Leo. Big Dominican. Big Leo energy. Big Leo energy. Big Mongo and salami and cheese, okay? Nah, 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 nah. No swine, no swine. 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 No swine.